Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we entered the Forest Temple, and we got fairly far into it. And in this episode, we will be continuing on and hopefully finishing the Forest Temple. So here we are back in that, uh, I guess, block pushing room. We just got the boss key. We have two keys again. And that makes a total of five keys in this dungeon. That's... That's a lot of keys. Pretty sure... I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure that might be the most keys in the dungeons of any of the games. Actually, no. No, that's definitely not right. That's definitely not right. I was just thinking about that, and I was like, wait a minute. There's no way that is right. Most keys in any dungeon. Alright, so do not aim at these guys. Where I'm going to aim is back at that eyeball where I shot it to make the corridor not twisted. We're going to want to twist it again. So, here we are. Now, if you think about it, it doesn't really twist... It doesn't twist the hallway. What it does is it twists this room. Like, I, I whenever I do this room, I'm just like, wait, what does it do? Like, how does it change it? Alright, I'm just trying to... Beast. There we go. That wasn't even that much of a shortcut. Why did I even do that? So now here we are back in the room. Well, now here we are back in the mini boss room. I'm gonna get a little bit of health because I really need it. Like it. I really do need some health. I, I'm, I'm about half health right now. Well, not anymore, but I was. So now let's continue on. And we are in another one of the portrait rooms, where there's a lot of portraits of the ghost. This one's the blue one. Shoot, it's portraits. And the last one's right here. And make the ghost appear. This is going to be our second out of four. Now, don't think that they're just reusing the same mechanic because there's really only three that you have to find because the fourth one is back in the original room come on come on nope there we go oh come on no oh my god there we go we beat it that must be like an ear rape for you guys, just me like spinning the... This, I hope that's not a bother for you guys. Actually... No, no, I, I hope it's not. It probably isn't. It's not that much of a bother. But... If I heard this all the time in a Let's Play, I'd be pretty bothered too. Well, there's nothing really I can do with it, that's how I do my most powerful attack and that's really the attack I use the most a lot of the times I'm a speedrunner of this game mind you I've beaten this game in like well I'm not a speedrunner that is just obviously no I'm not but I've beaten this game in like uh, a good maybe five hours before I like not cheating or anything so that's a really good run. I'm like talking about going through all the dungeons, going where you're supposed to go at, uh, at a time. So like, I do go through all of the dungeons in the order you're supposed to. I don't take any shortcuts or anything. But yeah, that is that is how I I once played this game. I once sped, sped through it. And it wasn't really that fun. It's not as fun as you think speedrunning it's like work too because you take one false move and you're like ah oh, god damn it and then you know you got to redo it so you know let's go back to the middle go back here go back over here and now that this room is all twisted we can go down we can actually drop down into the room below and uh, do some stuff there yeah right here now this checkerboard room over here you can actually exit the room into the 
the outside room, but I don't understand why you would, because this is the way you're supposed to go right here. It's not even that far until we're done the dungeon, so just bear with me, honestly, don't bail out right now. So here, I just... Navi, I was just going to talk to them about this. Here, there is a wall that falls down. Alright? I was gonna tell them that, Navi. I wasn't just gonna blow it off like it's nothing. It's a giant ceiling falling from the sky. Jesus, Navi. I mean, seriously. Come on, now let's go to the door. Open it, and... This is new. Now there's just one picture right there that you need to... You need to push all of these things out of the way first. That's for sure. Come on, you have 60 seconds to finish this. And then just push this all the way in. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not commentating really well right now. No! But this is actually a not very good formation of the puzzle right now. I probably could have done this a lot better had I not skimped my time away trying to get that blue thing out of the way. But, uh, I, what's done is done. I, I'm gonna make it. There's no way I'm not. I mean, I have 15 seconds to push a block three spaces. There we go. And now the enemy appears. So let's push this. Now get, I'm gonna put you in a corner. Get in the corner. There's no way you're getting there. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. Probably only needs one more hit, too. The amount of times I just hit him. Oh, two more hits. I was wrong. I, I always am, so I guess nothing's new. I'm always wrong, so let's just continue on. I don't even care anymore. Let's go in here. There's another Skull Tula. Get out of my way, you stupid bastard. And here we are back in the main room. Just gonna do a backflip. Instead of back. Do a back. You always make me look like a fool, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Why you do this? You always make me look like a fool. So here is like the real mini boss of this dungeon. This is one of the ghosts. What you're gonna do here is there's four ghosts. One of them is real, the other three are fake. Come on, be real. Basically what you're trying to look for is when they first appear, one of them will spin. Like, I'll show you. That one is the ghost. When they appear, one of them spins, and you're just supposed to hit that one. That one is the ghost. It's that simple. I never really noticed this, like, as a smaller kid. Like, this one is a ghost. It's like simple. It's so simple, but like I never noticed it. I'm just like, how do you even beat this boss? It wasn't a difficult boss as a child. It was just a little bit more difficult because I didn't know. I thought it was just random. Honestly, I did. This one is the ghost. There we go. It's done. It's done. It's that simple. And now we're heading into the final part of the dungeon. The basement floor. So let's get in the elevator. There's one more gold skull tula we have to get. But other than that, all we have to do is press a couple of switches. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We just have to press a couple of switches to open our way up to the boss door. And then we can get on with the, our lives, you know? It's that simple. So let's get over here. Here's the gold skull Tula right here. And now we have all the gold skull Tulas in this dungeon. So there's no need to worry about them anymore. I don't know why you would. I mean, honestly, it's not that big a thing to worry about, but okay. So let's just push this a little bit more. 
And now let's head in the one over. Oh, oh, okay, just push it one more time. And then we'll actually pull it back. Yeah, this is this is a cool puzzle right here. I'm gonna be honest, I really like this puzzle. It puts your brains to the test. It really does. So let's just push this back this way to find the door that was just unlocked from that. I don't know, I, like, I, do, I can't really commentate this. It's just pushing and pulling and then pressing a button. It's that simple. So, now there's one more thing. We have to push this one more time. No, twice more. Wait a minute. Wait. The map is so weird in this game, it's it's not even to scale. I've, I've noticed that recently while playing through this game. The map isn't even scale in this game. It's not. So, why even put a map if it's not to scale? And, like, I didn't have a problem with the map not being to scale during the, the practice run. Because the practice run of this Let's Play was done on the 3DS version. Just because I was playing it, and I, you know, I a simple whim, I wanted to play it, so I played it on the 3DS. Uh, where's the fucking boss? Where is he? Fuck this. Boss can't even just, he's just blowing me off, like, huh? Oh, I'm supposed to be somewhere? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm late. I'm sorry I'm so late. And the boss is Ganondorf, the final boss. This is it. This is this is just here, right now. Final fight right here. Finale. Finale. Oh! I guess not. Instead of Ganondorf we get Skull Horseman. <laughs> I do, I never got the point of this boss. Like, what's the point? Like they could have created something a little bit more creative. I like this boss. But I never got the point. It's just so uncreative. This is the real one. It's like with the uh, with the witch earlier. There's a dark there's a dark version of Ganondorf in these paintings. There's a a darker one. That one's not real. This one is real. You can tell the difference. The real one is a shade lighter. Yeah, I know. That's a little Oh, what a difference. But the copy is a shade darker. See, that's that's not a real one. This one is a real one. You can tell because... I guess not because of the shade. More because, you know, he's a little bit shinier, I guess. Alright, so here we go. Here's the main thing of the fight. He's gonna shoot a light beam at you. You're gonna hit it back. And then, bam. It's pretty simple. This is actually probably just a test of the final boss because the final boss has you do this too except it's a little bit more epic with the final boss because it's just like well the final boss but here it's just you know hit it back once and kill him but now he's actually oh I thought he was gonna hit it back but obviously oh I killed him he didn't even hit it back once we were supposed to have a game of dead man's volley but apparently he doesn't want that. He wants to just die. Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have to defeat it only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish him to the gap between dimensions. Okay, Ganondorf. Whatever you say. That's fine. I'll just take the heart container and get the fuck out of here, okay? Okay? We're good? Okay, we're good. Thank you. Because of you, 
I could awaken as a sage. I am Syria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would be you would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please take this take this medallion. You received the Force Medallion. Surreo awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Surreo will always be your friend. Oh, hi there! I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because of you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. That made no sense what he just said. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because of the Kokiri. They never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kakiri. You are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only chance was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate was to affect this entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link. Break the curse on all of the temples, and return peace to Hyrule. Alright, little Deku Sprout, I don't know how you know that, because you are like, maybe two minutes old, but okay, I will. So in the next episode, we will be heading to the next temple. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.